Hey there everyone, this is Chris from The Tech Basement coming to you once again from the basement. Today, what we're going to do is mod this EK Phoenix 280 radiator to use custom loop parts. Okay, we're gonna just dive right into this. First of all, what we need to do is take the barbs off or whatever you wanna call these little areas there. And how you do that is that you take these off right here. As you can see, I loosened one up already and that will just allow you to pull the tubing off of there. I've done this one already, so I know how, e how easy that one will be. But there's another one, this other one that I have not done yet. So let's get this tubing on here. These can be really tricky. And what I like doing is if you can get in there and use something like this, how I took the last one off was just by the pressure like this, but I don't think that's the proper way of doing it. As you can see, it just goes on there. So what I wanna to try to do is lift that off of there. I might have to get something other than just this little knife I have, but I'd say that's probably the best way of doing it is lifting it this way and off like that. Actually, that's not too difficult. Okay, so that one came off a lot easier than the first one did, but I had little experience on it. So let's take this one off. Usually, at least with the last one, if you try twisting it, you're gonna mess this up. But at this point, I would just try to wiggle it back and forth. That's how I did the first one. And it came off really easily for the most part. I just gotta keep on pulling back and forth. Eventually, it will get up over that little barb area that it's on. So we'll just take this. There we go. Okay, now it's now it's working its way. Just had to break it loose from it being on there that whole time. Okay, so what we could try doing, I made the mistake of getting the wrong tubing. My tubing's a little thin right in this area by about a couple millimeters. So what you could try doing, and I have not done this yet, is try to take this and see where it connects at the barb, if it's even gonna be that extra amount that you're gonna need, but I don't think it's going to. No, it's not. As you can see right here, it is not gonna tighten up over that. So what we'll do here, Try not to leak stuff all over the place. Stuff being water. We'll put this other one on. Now I will link down below the proper size for the um, for the tubing. I I'm not sure exactly where I got my size from, but I didn't. I did not see it properly or something. I'm not sure what happened there, but that's quite all right. That, that is something that you can do right. And I'll just, I'll just do this my way this time. So now that we got this all put together, we're gonna put it off to the side because the other part of this video, like I was saying before, 
we are going to connect some custom loop parts to this. So, put this off to the side real quick. Put the, just go like this because we'll just clean it up right now. Maybe we can go like this. And this is what happens when you play with water. You get wet, right? So what we're gonna replace the water with is just distilled water. Distilled water should be good enough for your loop to keep it healthy. Now, as I said in a previous video, we're gonna be using the EK Quantum Velocity. I've done some research on it and the, the flow should be good enough for this build. So let's just take this out of the box. Now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna connect up to the uh, pertinent pieces to the water block and we will run it, see if it looks like it has a good flow rate and go from there. But today, Today is not that day that we will actually um, put this on a system. We just want to verify everything's working and do our 24 hour test. So this is the EK Quantum Velocity. It's the first time I've had it out of the bag, as you can see. And we will get the torque compression fittings on there, put it on there, and then we'll fill the loop with the necessary water. You just need to put these on tight enough to screw in basically. You don't have to do them too tight. You don't want to be especially with these acrylic blocks you don't want to be cracking them so just hand tight should be fine okay now that we have that all together let's connect it up to the radiator okay like I said today is just about doing the test, whoops, <clears throat> about doing the test on the flow rate, see if it looks good, and then we'll look at other stuff later. But everything that I've seen, matter of fact, today I was doing some, doing some research, and, and, I, and I confirmed that this can be done. There's a lot of different water blocks. I, I skimmed through basically the, the forum I saw with the mods here. And I believe I did see the velocity as one of them. I'm pretty sure I saw velocity. And then there was another one from a brand Optimus. Optimus uh, WC, I believe, was the exact... CPU water block. All right, now what we want to do is flip this over a little bit. And we want to get this plugged in. And I want to be able to actually fill this through the top here, right here. So that's going to be a little challenging, but we'll definitely get that going and got to plug her in. I'm done bleeding the the tubes here 
as you can probably see you see a lot more in there but i can't seem to get that moving oh but it should not impact i don't think the performance that much i imagine with the original tubing where i couldn't see it i think i had a lot more air in it to tell you the truth but hey whatever it it worked very well at that point so that's that's all that matters but now it may even work better seeing that i'll be able to see all the air in the tubes now with clamping down the tubing here this i had to clamp down because when i was bleeding it these started moving left and right and you know it, it started loosening up there for uh, leaking so for the original tubing you'd you'd be able to i should say the original clamps you'd be able to use this if you buy the proper size and then you'd be able to use this again now i was hoping to do that and not use tubing but i thought of something else today that you could use to clamp these down just as well as these and that would be a um the metal clamps that you see that you can screw that goes around stuff like this i would say you could buy those real small ones and paint them black if you don't want to see the silver so that that is another thing you can do with that besides that this is pretty much the mod i'm going to run the vega 64 with this as well uh, once I test to see actually if this is going to handle the CPU loads. So that is all I have for you right now. Uh, tell me what you think of this mod. Tell me if this helps you out if you're looking to mod your EK Phoenix. Also, tell me if you found some other ways of doing this other than what I have presented here. So as usual, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And this is Chris saying out.